All right, we got another trailer? Yeah. Uh, this trailer is called... What is this trailer called? What are we watching? Well, just pull it up. Miss Bala. Trailer. Oh, yeah, this was a request. Oh, yeah. Um, Tim. Tim Raven. Tim Raven. Who's our... He used to... I mean, I think it's, it's just been a couple weeks. weeks. It's just been a couple of weeks, but he... He's our go-to guy for yeah. trailers. I think we have to read this trailer. Oh, no. If I wanted to read, I'd go to school, Tim. All right, here we go. I'm so happy that you're here. Oh, I apologize. That's After my parents died, I didn't really think I was going to be able to come back to Tijuana. But you always made me feel like family. You are my family. This is the other one. Yeah, this is the real one. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, Merrick. From Los Angeles. I just want to find my friend. I need you to do a favor for me first. You mess around and I'll kill you both. Park the car real close to the curb. Let's go. Is this you? You have to believe me. They made me do it. The building that you blew up is a DEA safe house. You know how long you'll go away for? Unless you help us get me no Esparza. Please. Gloria! I can see it in your Forget your friends, no one's coming to save you. Whether or not you survive, it's entirely up to you. You're gonna be my queen. She got to learn how to use one of these. A bala, a bullet. A bala said it was everything. Hit me like a time. Ever since you showed up, the police been one step ahead. You better do what you need to do. Tell me, you know, he has a mole in his operation. I have a plan. I'm gonna come back for you. Tell me lies. I'm gonna hurt you. I'm not giving up on my family. La bala. In the end, the bullet settles everything. Is she related to Michelle Rodriguez? No, I don't think so. Because she has a really similar look. And the first thing I was going to say was if this were 10 years ago, that would be fucking Michelle Rodriguez in that movie. Yeah, probably. Oh, for sure. You know? Yeah. But, oh, shit, I bumped the mic, Rick. I'm sorry. He's going he's gonna to fucking yell at me all week long. Watch. Um, that looks good. Yeah, I, I see it. I see. I like action movies like that, and it's funny because like I'm uh, watching Mayans MC right now because I was a huge fan of Sons of Anarchy, and it kind of has a real similar vibe to the fish out of water, undercover, working for the government, but trying mm-hmm. to stay true to your family thing. I'm kind of all in on that right now. I know you hate that term now, but I'm all in on it. <laughs> you are still watching though. I wondered. Yeah, oh yeah, dude, yeah. Okay. I, I still don't like anybody on that fucking show at all, like, character-wise, which is weird, because right out of the gate, like, halfway through the first episode of Sons of Anarchy, I was, like, I was firmly in the corner of a couple of characters. Mm. But the way Kurt Sutter writes stuff, I love it, because I genuinely dislike every character on the show, but I still want to watch and see what's going to happen, you know? But anyway... I'm. This looks good. I'm gonna watch oh, that's this. Interesting. Yeah. James. What do you think? Oh, thoughts on Miss Bala? Yeah. Um, I think it looks good. I'm a huge fan of Gina Rodriguez. Okay. Um, it doesn't look like anything I haven't seen before, though. Right. I hear True. you. But that's not gonna stop me from oh, seeing God. it. It's the <laughs> USA show. Is it Queen of the South? Which is like. A, she's like a drug lord, head of a gang thing. Have you seen this Queen of the South show? I haven't seen it. No, but you, you that. know because yeah. we see the uh, trailers during wrestling yeah. every week. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, like 
I am. Then there was that Gabrielle Union movie that came out uh, about four or five months ago. It was like a revenge movie where she was like a badass and fucking. I'm in love with Gabrielle Union anyway. So it was good. I, I really like seeing a lot of awesome, badass, empowered women right now. I, having a 12 year old daughter, I fucking love seeing this shit. And I'm very excited for it for no other reason other than that. Well, I don't know if it's what what's next, but I'm going to segue my ass off right now. <laughs> if you're all about seeing fucking empowered women, then you should have went to go see Halloween. I... Because... Uh-huh. I mean... Okay. How is we'll Jamie, get there. We'll get there. We'll I'm get there. I'm just saying. I love Jamie Lee Curtis also. But yeah. I, uh... Yeah, that's something I'm really big on right now. Like, it's it's cool to see it happening and not in a patronizing way. Mm-hmm. That's like, like that's like we got completely no sold. James and Rick should have totally had my back on that 100. <laughs> We're not ready to move on yet. Show. I'm not ready to move okay, on yet. Well, I'm just saying. But it's true. It's, Jamie it's, Lee Curtis shouldn't, couldn't be more badass. No, she couldn't. And it's going all the way back to fucking 1978 or whatever when the original Halloween was out. Yeah. Like Jamie Lee Curtis has been a uh, you're gonna like this strong, sexy, and powerful woman <laughs> for like. 40 fucking years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's and it's happened organically and not to play towards a specific audience. And I'm glad now that we're seeing more movies that are doing that without just like, well, this is what makes money, so let's mm-hmm. let's just yeah. I, I like diversity, but I don't like it for the sake of diversity. Mm-hmm. I want it to mean something, I want it to be powerful, and I want it to actually have some teeth and sink in to you know, a young girl's mind going, you know, man, that girl was fucking badass. I can be badass too. 